Hi everybody, welcome back. I want to talk today about something that I have so much personal experience with that I can almost still feel the toe curling pain of when you latch your baby onto feed and it hurts. <laughs> it's really, really, really awful. And despite what anyone may say to you, it's not supposed to hurt. Okay, let me just get that out there right now. Your nipples do not need to toughen up. Your baby is not being lazy. If breastfeeding hurts, if you are curling your toes and your shoulders are up here and you can't have a conversation and you just want to scream when they latch on, they're not doing it right. So don't feel like you ever need to push through that pain. But here I'm going to share with you a few things that you can do instead. If it's hurting, what's happening is that your baby has not taken enough of your breast in their mouth. So when you're breastfeeding, it is breastfeeding, it's not nipple feeding. We don't want your baby to just open a really tiny mouth, take a little bit of nipple into their mouth. They need to actually have a very wide mouth and take a whole deep mouthful of breast. What you want to try and achieve is if you run your tongue along the roof of your mouth, you'll feel that you've got that hard palate, that hard part at the front, and then it arches up right back about here where your soft palate is. That's where your nipple should sit in your baby's mouth, all the way back there. If breastfeeding is hurting, what's happening is that that nipple is too far forward. And if you imagine that this is your hard palate and this is your soft palate, if your baby has your nipple in too far forward, what's happening is that every time they move their tongue and they're sucking, what they're doing is they're pushing your nipple up against that hard part at the top of their mouth. It's literally like someone sitting here pinching you over and over and over again. That's why it's such a sharp, excruciating pain because they're pinching that nipple up against that hard palate. We want to get that nipple all the way back so that if they've got a really deep latch, what happens is that they are sucking and feeding and your nipple is just floating back in that bubble where the soft palate is. That's what we want to achieve. So the key to getting rid of that pain and getting it feeling more comfortable is getting that deeper latch. Now what I'm going to run through is a few things that you can try really easily at home to try and get that deeper latch. The other thing that I'm going to do is leave a link down below to my video on the breast sandwich technique, which is amazing for helping babies to latch a little bit deeper. I won't go through that in this video, but click down below and have a look at that as well, because that will be really helpful. My caveat to all of this is that if you do all of these things and it's still painful, your baby's not latching, they're going on and slipping off, etc., etc. Please reach out and get some support from an IBCLC or get them assessed by a tongue tie practitioner to see whether there might be some restrictions in their tongue, which is impacting on them being able to feed if none of these things are working. So the first thing you want to think about is how you're actually positioning your baby to feed. And this makes a massive difference. Most of us, when we feed, do this. So if you imagine this is your view looking down at your baby, we do this. We put baby's mouth in front of nipple and we go plop and plug them on. Unfortunately, what that allows your baby to do is go, oh, right, okay, nipples there, I can just use it like a straw, tiny little mouth, plop, and on. And all they've got in their mouth is that nipple. So therefore, we've got that shallow latch, nipple's not far enough back, it's getting pinched, and it's painful. What we need to do for them is encourage them that rather than coming into the breast like this, what we want your baby to do is come into the breast like this. So actually, that nipple is right up near your baby's nose. Their mouth is down actually near the breast and near the edge of your areola and their head is tilted all the way back. That's going to allow your baby to come into the breast like this and take a much wider, deeper mouthful, which is going to get that nipple way back up there where we want it to be. So how do we do that? This is really simple and I'm going to show you a pretty common position to feed him, but you can mimic this in any position you want to. When you bring your baby to the breast, Bring them in, get them comfortable, tuck them in nice and close to you so they can reach as much breast as possible. Before you go to latch them on, what you want to do is do a little slide so that they are moving their head back, tilting that head and getting that nose to their nipple. So once you get them in position, all you want to do is slide them a couple of centimetres away from your breast. This is what you're going to see. You're going to bring your baby in to the breast like this. 
and then we're going to do a little slide so we're going to slide them around your body just sliding around and you can see what happens is that it encourages your baby to tip their head back so they're here in front of the breast we do that little slide putting pressure with your hand on their back here they're going to tip their head back they're going to have their chin pressed into the breast and then you've got nose and nipple all lined up so what you should be able to see is this triangle where the chin meets the breast is one point of the triangle your nipple is another point and baby's nose is the other so we've kind of got this triangle shape going on here and you can see actually there where baby's mouth is on the breast is right near the edge of your areola it's not actually near your nipple your nipple is at such an angle that if you imagine that you had a really forceful letdown and milk sort of shot out of your nipple, it would go straight up baby's nose. That's kind of what you're aiming for. So where that chin comes into the breast, baby will use that like an anchor. They will bring that chin in and they will stop there. And this forces your baby to stretch their top lip up and over to take a much deeper mouthful of breast. So when you look at your baby actually latching on, what you're gonna see is rather than, imagine this is top and bottom lip, rather than them coming into the breast like this we've done that little slide so we've got chin and bottom lip coming in here and they anchor that's going to glue there baby's going to be forced to stretch that top lip up and over take a deeper mouthful and then we've got nipple way back in their mouth not touching anything and therefore feeling more comfortable for you so that is my first tip do the slide my second tip is how close you have your baby when they're feeding them. Now, when I say that you need your baby close when you're feeding, I mean like really, really, really close. The best thing that you can do, and I think nature intended for this to happen, because we've got what I like to call the postnatal shelf. Now, the postnatal shelf is that little bit of space between your breasts and your tummy, which we all know does not go away straight away after you have a baby. This little shelf is where you want to tuck your baby in. So do a little hoik and tuck them right into that space. Make sure that their arms are either, that lower arm is kind of down by their side or it's wrapped around your body to give you a little hug so that they don't have that arm between the two of you and it's therefore getting in the way. And also try to get rid of bulky bras, shirts, anything else that's kind of impeding them getting nice and close to you. The further away they are, the more likely they are to just grab onto that nipple and hold on for dear life. So you want them to be really smushed in nice and close. When you actually go to latch them on, so when they open their mouth, what you want to do with your hand that you're supporting them with, as soon as you see that mouth open, pull them in really quickly and really firmly. Most babies will open that mouth for just a second or two before they feel some stimulation in it, feel the nipple and close it again. A little tip to look out for when you're trying to pick that moment to pull your baby in is look out for when they do this. What they will do is that they will come to the breast, they will start to find their way and then they'll do a little this little sideways nuzzle like this. When they start to do that nuzzle, that's your cue that they're about to open their mouth. So when you look out for that little, that's when they're about to open and that's your cue to pull them in nice and firmly towards the breast. My third tip when you're latching them on is to help to shape the breast. And this is what I'm talking about in the video down below. So what I would love for you all to do is follow the link down below, go and have a look at my breast sandwich technique because that will also be an absolute game changer when we're talking about latching your baby on if feeding is painful. If you are still having struggles after any of these tips, or you just feel like you need some more help, please reach out and contact an IBCLC like myself. All of my details are in the box below. I've also popped links down there to where you can get support in other parts of the country or in other countries of the world. So if you are struggling, reach out and get yourself some support to get to the bottom of why feeding is painful. Please don't forget to subscribe for new videos every Tuesday and every Friday, everything about birth and breastfeeding and babies and all of the B words. I'd love to hear from you down below whether you found these tips helpful or whether there's anything else that you found really helped when you were trying to deal with pain when you're feeding as well. So do leave me a comment down below and I'll chat to you guys all soon.